Well, the world's largest dance of democracy had its final showdown on June 4th. The rhythm did not go according to the BJP, but somewhere India Alliance had a pretty good performance. You might have heard this song. Hum logon ko samaj sako to samjho dil bar jani. Jitna bhi tum samjhoge utni hogi hai rani. <laughs> People of India showed that they can't be taken lightly, moreover they can't be convinced by just playing communal, casteist of freebie politics. Despite the Mughal, Mangalsutra, Matan and Mujra as well as the AI manipulated ads that took over the social media, if you haven't watched that video, please watch it clicking on the i button. So including all this stuff, BJP did not make even the halfway mark. Further, the latest, Chandra Babu Naidu said he is in NDA and meeting with NDA at present, while Nitish Kumar and Tejasvi Yadav were seen in a flight together. But question arises. Is will Chacha Paltenge ya Phir Bhatija? A lot of political drama is yet to come, but let's look at the polls that have given an exit door to those who claimed with their exit surveys, Apki Bar 400 Par. In the recently concluded Lok Sabha elections, the Election Commission of India declared results for all 543 constituencies early this morning. The Bharatiya Janata Party won 240 seats, falling short of the 272 needed for a sole majority. The BJP-led NDA has secured a majority with crucial support from key allies, the Telugu Desam Party and Janata Dal United, contributing 28 seats and ensuring Prime Minister Narendra Modi's third term. However, the opposition Indian National Developmental Inclusive Alliance, that is the India Bloc, despite securing over 200 seats, fell short of a majority. The bloc will convene today to strategize its next steps. In a dramatic twist, the India bloc has made enticing offers to these kingmakers. Nitish Kumar, he has been promised the Deputy Prime Minister position and Chandra Babu Naidu has been assured special status for Andhra Pradesh. And if they switch the sides. Both leaders known for their national ambitions hold the balance of power making, making the political landscape more successful as they weigh their options. In Uttar Pradesh, the India bloc outperformed the BJP securing 44 out of 80 seats and reducing NDA's tally from 64 to 35. Now this shift highlights the waning influence of BJP's traditional Hindutva narrative with significant losses in key constituencies like Ayodhya and Muzaffarnagar. The India bloc's focus on caste identity, employment that is a rosy and roti and reservation proved more compelling than the religious themes, Ram, food security and governance in this fiercely contested election. Moving on to Karnataka, Chief Minister Siddharamaya admitted that the Congress failed to meet its target of winning 15 to 20 seats. Despite improving its vote share from 31.88% in 2019 to 45.34%, this year the Congress could not secure a significant number of seats, partly due to low voter turnout. Senior journalist Nahida Taula noted that this performance could lead to political repercussions, including a possible change in the state unit leadership with DK Shivakumar potentially losing his bargaining power for the chief minister's seat. Additionally, the defeat of the Congress candidate in the Mysuru Kodugu seat, Siddharamaya's home turf, was particularly embarrassing. In contrast, the BJP saw notable victories in Karnataka. Shobha Karanlaje became Bengaluru's first woman MP in 73 years, winning the Bengaluru North seat. Tejasvi Surya secured his second term with a sweeping victory and PC Mohan won his fourth consecutive term in Bengaluru Central. Controversy marked the JDS campaign as Prajwal Revanna, the grandson of former PM HD Devegoda and incumbent Hassan MP, faced multiple allegations of sexual abuse. Despite these issues, he contested but ultimately lost to Congress candidate Shreyas M. Patel by 42,549 votes. The elections also saw significant outcomes in state assemblies. The BJP achieved a landslide victory in Odisha, ending Navin Patnaik. 24-year tenure, while Chandra Babu Naidu's Telugu Desam Party delivered a crushing defeat to Jagan Mohan Reddy's YSR Congress Party in Andhra Pradesh. Despite a reduced seat count, the BGP showed strong performance in states like Madhya Pradesh, Odisha and Gujarat but faced setbacks in Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, Bihar and West Bengal. In Karnataka, Congress improved its vote share but failed to meet its seat expectations with Chief Minister Siddharamaya acknowledging the party's shortfall. 
prominent wins and losses included the victory of PM Narendra Modi and Union Home Minister Amit Shah, while notable defeats were faced by Union Ministers Smriti Irani, Rajiv Chandrasekhar, and former Jammu and Kashmir Chief Ministers Omar Abdullah and Mehbooba Mufti. The Aam Aadmi Party struggled nationally, winning only few seats despite recent success in Punjab's Assembly elections. The party's alliance with Congress in Delhi did not yield expected results, with the BJP sweeping all the seven seats in the capital. The elections saw 15 Muslim candidates winning Lok Sabha seats, including former cricketer Yusuf Pathan from the TMC, who defeated Congress veteran Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary in Baharampur. Overall, the exit polls predicting a significant lead for the BJP were proven inaccurate as the party did not cross the 300-seat mark. For more latest news and updates, subscribe to Delhi Salah Digital.